Jamal. What are you doing, Tracy? Do you have Ice Cube on in the background? Of course. <laughs> Jamal, we're going to have you in here for four minutes. If you can just make sure your chat is running so I can send you timing cues. Okay. Um, and if you can go ahead and slate your name and your outlet, uh, you've got four minutes. Go for it. That is amazing. <laughs> Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. So I, I love this this movie. I, first, it was just weird to see Ice Cube in this in this character because he it was it was kind of, it was really out of character for all of his tough guys and playing this this manager. But I wonder you you've been adorned by fans uh, for all your great stuff that you've done on TV and everything. But how different is it for to be a to be a celebrity on the music side? Do you think as opposed to the actress side to live that life? Does it pair up with with actor uh, celebrity? Uh, you know, what, what do you think of? Um, the truth is, I mean, playing Grace was very different than playing Tracy in life. <laughs> I should say playing Grace is very different than being Tracy. Yeah. Um, she definitely is a bit larger than life and um, she's a lot more guarded than I am, honestly. Um, and obviously I, I am not a, a singing superstar, although, you know, I won't limit myself. Who knows what's ahead, Jamal? <laughs> um, but uh so I found it really um, liberating and fun to play that kind of character. I was shocked at some of the things in the script about what she had her assistant do. I was like, oh my God, this can't be real. But apparently there's people out there who have their assistants do those kinds of things. Yeah. Um, but it was really exciting for me. And I will say like with Cube, he, I mean, even his voice sounded different, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Oh, it was hilarious to me. His voice sounded different. He kept complaining about how uncomfortable his shoes were. It was amazing. Now, word on the street is that you made sure that they had Michael B. Jordan as that character for that. Uh... Oh, is that the word on the street? <laughs> Which street are you on? Which street? It's not on my street. Which street are you on, Jamal? <laughs> it's, it's, it's my street over here. <laughs> downtown LA that's that's what they talk about they said she she had Michael B. Jordan. No for goodness sake um, I mean they did give me a choice of different people and of the choices I said well why don't we make it Michael B. Jordan now we didn't ask Michael B. Jordan um, <laughs> but I did tell Michael after we finished the film and everything I went to his birthday party in January I was like hey FYI your character's in love with my character or you you I shouldn't even say your character you Michael B. Yeah. Jordan are in love with my character people watching this or, or listening they're like is he in the movie? No, he's not in the movie, but yes, he's in the movie. He's in the movie. Margaret! Margaret! Hi. What do you think of this? Do you think it's too booby? Mm, yes. Oh. Perfect. You can go. Oh, okay, great. Thank you so no, much. No, not you. You guys can go. Thank oh, you. Oh, Thanks. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, Ms. Davis. Well, Margaret, yeah. are you sure all of this is still okay with you? Um, because after that little show at the recording studio, I'm, I'm not sure. Because if there is something else you want to be doing, I don't want you to be here if you don't want to be here. No, Grace, I w um. Yes. I want to be here. Good. Because I want to go through my closet and donate things that aren't sparking joy or whatever. So mm -hmm. I, I know that Maggie like looked up to you at, uh, at for her pro professional inspiration and everything. And I know you, you come from a, 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 a great pedigree of talent and everything else. That, but was there somebody outside of your media family that, that you, that was like a professional inspiration to you that you like kind of, that kind of inspired you and moved you along in your career that you would think? Um, there are quite a few people. Honestly, the first person that came to mind as you were talking is my track coach from high school, Coach Block. Coach Block. Coach Block. Um, she taught me so much. Uh, I learned so much when I was running track. I learned about, um, you know, uh, team sports and passing that baton. I learned about um, how to push myself further than I thought that I could go. Um, I learned how to... Um, take care of myself when I was injured. Um, and all of that came from her. And there was a, 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 a real sense of support that I got um, in that 
you know, when I was running track that I'm so grateful for. So that was the first person I thought of. Now I could think of so many people. I mean, Michelle Obama, um, uh, Alfre Woodard, um, Carrie Washington. Um, there's so many women that I'm surrounded by that, and, and men, honestly, there's, there's also extraordinary men. Um, I was just thinking of Jesse Williams and the way he speaks. I just saw something. Um, there's, there's so many people that, um, sort of continue to inspire me to use my voice and, and to learn more, you know, I mean, it, I, you're very interesting, but I got to tell you that whatever's happening, I get, I get very intrigued by all the ice cubes <laughs> on your TV. <laughs> Well, Tracy, you inspire a lot of people, and I know everybody's gonna love to see the high note and see you in this character and hear you sing uh, uh, publicly for for ah. first our first time. So, love you always, and be safe out there. Can't Thank wait you. till we could not be virtual again and see you. Agreed, agreed. Thank you, Jamal. Be well. Take care. Bye.